food. Let's get uh, something to drink. So now it's uh, 5 p.m. I was to read about the uh, <coughs> desert, so I find a PDF about uh, camels and cactus, cactus plant and the animal uh, camels, the camel animal living in the desert, drinking a lot of they can go without water many days. Because water is a problem in the desert. And I think uh, camel can kind of, they can smell uh, the water. The camel animal, they can smell the water on long distance. But I will read about it uh, later. So this Boeing 737 aircraft airline or aircraft really come a long way from a small uh, short haul, small airliner to short distance to like flying like 5,000 5, kilometers with full loads, like a Dublin, Dublin, New York City. But they are still using this. That was this photo is like 1968. But this photo they still use this. Then uh, so that's the, the Boeing uh, original. Then the Boeing uh, classic, the second generation. That's the last 300, 400, 500. So I think that went out like around 1980. 1980, I think. You can read about it here. They got a new engine. That's a Boeing 737-300 with a wider turbofan engine. In 1984. But I was a teenager. Back then I was age uh, 20 in uh, 86, so when I was a teenager, they had this uh, second generation. So around 1980, I was like 13 or 14 years old. Then uh, they had a different kind of engine. And then they make the 400 version in June uh, 1986 after many years then the slash shorter version Slash five hundred. Now I need something to drink. Then I got the third generation number three. Actually, that's uh, the airline company, my country, Scandinavian Airlines, the says. They got uh, in 1998. I was 832. So that's a Boeing 737 next generation. That was a little bit before year 2000. 1997. So 1998. That was the smallest model. Then uh, they make the 700s, the 700s and the 800s. I think they still make the, they're not making the 700, they're making the 700, 800 and 900. They still make it after like 20 years. That must have more seats. 
and they have an extended extended range version but I thought they don't have that anymore I think but they have a, a 900 extended rate uh, extended range so this is 800 is I think uh, Reiner got few of this left Reiner have this they have fewer and fly, fly to buy have some of this left so they still use it many uh, modern airliners they still use the 800 and that's the 900 and they have a 900 ER extended range But this number four, that's the latest generation. But let's like that's long time ago. Let's like ten years ago, Boeing Max and Rhina using a high density uh, called Max 200, the 197 seats. That's the one Rhina using this. But. Uh, I think this Southwest Southwest Airlines use uh, a little bit more seats. Fly Dubai use uh, the standard. Fly Dubai use like two class the standards. So they have a much longer range. Fly Dubai, they can fly like five thousand kilometers. So uh, what year? Two thousand eleven. But we can read about it, but in year 2019 there was some accident with the Boeing 737 MAX, two hullers and 346 deaths uh, in Ethiopia. So that did ground the aircraft for like one and a half year. So uh, so they have, a, they have a level large of more than 4000 is in line to get one. Uh, that's the Max 7, but it have, that's the long, have the longest range. It got 7,100 range. So it have a super long range, but a lower number of seats. But I think most the buy the Max uh, 8 and 9. But actually, I think uh, the Southwest, this American Southwest Airlines, that did order a many of this Max 7. I don't know why they did that because they don't have this long. They don't need to fly like 6,000 kilometers. They don't have this long route. So that's the Max 8 Ryanair use, but they have a version called Max 200. Uh, the 737 MAX 200 is a high density version of the 737 MAX 8 was launched September 2014 that's uh, uh, Ryanair used that 20 percent more cost efficiency 5 percent lower operation cost than MAX 8 so that's uh, the Ryanair. They have a 997 seat conf configuration. Okay, that's uh, new. That's uh, service April 2019. So actually, that's not long time ago. That's uh, only a few years ago. So Ryanair will use this like the next 10 years. Then the Max 900, never seen in the flight radar. I never seen it and I never seen the Max Max 10. The Max 10 should have a little shorter range but more seats. So that's the airframe. But the airframe should be from the old Boeing 727. That's original the 100 and the 200. That's the classic. 
You can see they have this very small engine and the classic larger engines. Now they, I think they move the engines a little bit up front the wings. The engines is not sitting below below the move like this one. The engine sitting kind of in front of the in front of the wings. So that's the engine. That's the original sitting below there. That's the classic. This this uh, half round there, and that's uh, the next generation. That's the latest, the Max. That's the the classic, the original. Two one slash two on the cockpit, the classic cockpit, and that's the glass cockpit, the Mac next generation. I don't, uh, I don't have a photo of the Max. So then built the uh, winglets, the make some advanced uh, winglets, the split winglets to save fuel. But they have this cabin with uh, three seats, three seats. So you've got six, six uh, each row. Then they have some uh, military versions. So actually, uh, we can close it. So actually, we could keep the video in a two parts because we all already have look this. That's uh, the modern version, Boeing 737 MAX, but we have already looked it, so the video splits in like two minutes, so I will do uh, more video later about the Boeing 737, I will do it later, now I will uh, close this, close it, and I think I will read about uh, this animal camel. Then I will uh, go to my beds, I will read about uh, camels.